Queen asks Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to pause their new lifestyle to attend the annual Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey and final round of royal engagements. The Queen has requested Harry and Meghan attend the annual Commonwealth service with the rest of the royals next month. Government representatives of the 53 member nations will gather at Westminster Abbey for the one-hour event on the afternoon of March 9. For the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it will be wrapped into a wider whistle-stop schedule which will mark their final duties on the family front line. At last year's event, Meghan was heavily pregnant with now nine-month Archie, who will fly with his parents from Canada for their engagements, the Sunday Times reports. Her Majesty's invitation will see the couple press pause on their new pared-back lifestyle which has allowed them to profit their royal fame. On Thursday night they were keynote speakers at a star-studded J.P. Morgan conference which wealth experts believe could have netted them up to $1 million. Friends have told the newspaper the Queen is remarkably relaxed and unfazed by the couple's money-making ventures. Ron Taroshin, CEO of New York-based firm 5 Watts Public Relations, said he expects the couple to have made between $500,000 and $1 million. £387,000 and £775,000, from the appearance. He told DailyMail.com, one would imagine they flew privately from Canada to Miami, had a hotel suite, and hair and makeup artist, which could cost $100,000, £77,000, to $250,000, £193,000, in expenses. Harry and Meghan will be the highest paid speakers that exist on the corporate market. But royal courtiers are still in negotiations about how Harry and Meghan will be able to profit from the Sussex brand in the future, with any blueprint subject to an annual review in spring 2021. Next month's Commonwealth Day ceremony will likely see the Duke and Duchess reunite with William and Kate, with whom they are rumored to have fallen out. When they were pictured smiling together at the 2019 event, the group were known as the Fab Four, a nickname which has since evaporated after the Sussexes severed professional ties by pulling out of the Kensington Palace household and their joint charitable foundation. A last year's event, which always falls on the second Monday in March, Harry and Meghan were seated beside Prince Andrew who has since also peeled back from royal duties following a car crash a Newsnight interview about his pedophile friend Jeffrey Epstein. Buckingham Palace refused to confirm Her Majesty had asked the Duke and Duchess to attend the Commonwealth Service.